Welcome to the Money Collier Report. I'm Money Collier. In this video, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to encourage your neighbors to thoroughly read, believe, and discuss the Bible. The Bible says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have hope. It's Romans chapter 15, verse 4. I want to encourage you to read the Bible to the children in your neighborhood. Today's kids have not read the Bible, do not know the teaching of God Almighty, and it shows. Devils and perverts are busy teaching the children of this land as anyone can see by simply watching the news. God grant us strength to resist this evil. This Satanism can be countered by teaching children the law of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ. You see, the law of God teaches that there is none good but God, that there is certain right and wrong, good and evil, that God demands from us perfect obedience to His commands, that we are sinners deserving of damnation, and that we are incapable of saving ourselves. That's what the law of God teaches. On the other hand, the gospel of Jesus Christ teaches that Christ came to save sinners to live a perfect life of obedience in our place, to be our substitute, taking the punishment and wrath we deserve, satisfying entirely the requirements of the law of God for us, having our guilt charged to Jesus' account, and Jesus' perfect righteousness credited to our accounts freely, this sinless Lamb of God dying in our place. Christ made one perfect sacrifice for our sins, and on this basis alone, God legally declares us justified. He pronounces us acquitted and accepts us freely, forgiving us, pardoning all of our sins, past, present, and future, and adopting us as His sons and daughters and granting us a title to eternal life. Jesus Christ alone is our beloved surety and Redeemer our Emmanuel, God with us, who completely paid the ransom with his blood, delivering us from death and the condemnation of the law, redeeming us. Jesus lived, died, and was buried, rose again on the third day for our justification, all according to Scripture alone. Christ came and saved his people from all their sins. All who believe that Jesus died for their sins are not condemned, but have eternal life. Salvation, you see, is by God's invincible grace alone, and justification is by faith alone, absolutely determined from eternity by Jehovah's eternal counsel. The Bible says, For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee, Yet I will not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 11. The Bible says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement. Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. And finally, beloved, the Bible tells us, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, 
to the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of His grace. That was Ephesians chapter 1, 3 through 7. So let me encourage you, my friends, start a Bible study today. Go throughout your neighborhood. Encourage people to come and read the Bible with you. For faith cometh of the word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.